Did you know that just by customizing your messages with your customer data, you could potentially increase your message engagement by 250%? It's true. Our research has shown that folks that use segments and personalize their message outreach see engagement rates increase anywhere from 50 to 250%. But I know it can be overwhelming trying to figure out how do you get your hands on this valuable customer data? Well, good news. OneSignal offers several easy ways that you can import your data into OneSignal. I'm Julia, a product marketer here at OneSignal. And today I'm gonna to walk you through how you can identify the data you need and pass it to OneSignal. To get you started with data planning, here's a handy guide. First, identify the key phases of your customer life cycle. Then, brainstorm the relevant customer attributes and events for each phase. Identify where this information is collected and stored currently, and then list the attributes and events you want to use in OneSignal. Use a data tag implementation method, which we'll cover next, to pass your data to OneSignal, and then use this data to create segments and personalize your customer engagement. To help you brainstorm some attributes and events you might want to pass to OneSignal, here are some commonly used data tags. Our customers will often pass some amount of user or account information, things like username, plan type, or subscription status. It's also helpful to pass user activity information, things like when a reward is redeemed, survey response, or onboarding status. Finally, make sure you think about any industry-specific information you might need. For instance, if you're a gaming app, think about passing game level, high score, or points information. If you're in e-commerce, think about how you can pass cart update information, product names, or amount spent. Finally, if you're in media or entertainment, think about how you can pass interest categories, trial offers, or top news information. There are three primary methods that our customers use to get started with data tags. First is the OneSignal SDK. I highly recommend using this method if it works for you and your team. It will unlock real-time customer data and powerful integrations. Plus, it's a lightweight SDK that's easy for developers to integrate into your app or website. The API is a great option for technical users who are looking for a fast and flexible setup. And the CSV upload is an easy to use option for non-technical users who don't need real-time data. There are also several no-code ways you can manage your customer data. As you use OneSignal, look around for options to add tags. You'll find them in Journeys, in-app responses, web prompts, the user profile page, and more. For example, you can easily add a tag to your journey directly from the Journeys Workflow Builder. Simply click the plus button and then select Tag User. Input your key value pair and save. By customizing your outreach, you're sure to see your message engagement rates improve thanks to custom segments and personalized content. If you haven't already, figure out what data you need in OneSignal and pick a data tag implementation method. If you want to learn more about data tags, please visit OneSignal's documentation.